Hello everyone! Thanks for watching this new video of Fish Chip. Today I'm recording a Minecraft video uh, for school actually. I've read a book. It's called The Ember An Ember in the Ashes. And today I'm gonna talk to you about it and show you what we've built. So uh, let's get right into it. So uh, first of all I want to give a huge shout out to my friends for helping me build this ginormous structure. And um well, I'm just gonna, you know, check it out. I'm gonna show you a bit of the important places. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna give you a bit of um, background. I'm gonna give you my opinion and a lot more. So, starting off, I'm gonna give you a quick sum summary. Um, An Ember in the Ashes is a book about the Empire, and the Empire is um, a really. It oppresses their villagers and the people who live under them, um, particularly the scholars, and um, they really rule them, and it's very hard. And uh, there's a guy in the army, and the army is called the Masks because they're really dangerous and assassins. And this guy doesn't want to be here in this academy because that's what we built. We built Blackcliff Ac Academy, sorry, <laughs> and. As you can see, there's a lot of houses and structures, and this is this is a visual representation representation of Blackliff. So, um, this then um, the 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 story takes place in the Empire uh, around the Roman times. It's based off the Roman times, so around that time, and um, well, I'm just gonna show you around because the I'm just gonna show you a bit of the important places and what happens there. So first off, we have Armory Number One. If you look up your map, you can actually see it. Just a small little armory, nothing special. So um, while we'll just go around, I'm gonna tell you why I love this book so much. It's amazing. It's a such a good book. By the way, we're at the stables, and. Honestly, when I first got this book, it looked kind of amazing, but I didn't expect it to be this good. It was amazing. I think it's the best book in the genre, by far. Um, and I say that while we're running towards the infirmary and more armories. But it's the best book in its genre, by far. Um, I read this book and it was just so good. I mean, we have another storage, by the way. It's so good, just everything about it. It's amazing. It, I left. I was so shocked when I finished this book, that and I just couldn't pick up another book for so long. It was so good. I just couldn't read any other book because they were just not a never in the ashes, and they were just so stupid. And hello, friends. What are you going to do? They're just running around. Hello. Okay. Uh, see ya. Uh, it's it's just such a good book, and honestly, it's just it has everything I like from a book. It has amazing storytelling. It has amazing writing. It has a world set in another time, close to the medieval time, but this time it's Roman time. But I love the Roman time as well, so that doesn't matter. Uh, it has good fighting scenes, it has some really nice supernatural touches and it has a good love story, although it's not the one, it's not all about the love but it has, it's it's such a good part in it, it doesn't matter but it, it's so, a touch of fantasy, supernatural elements an amazing setting and amazing buildings as you can see we built them here it's just so well written. And hey, there's these guys. I think they're following me. Hmm. Whatever. Moving on. It's just... It has some really good scenes in the book as well. Uh, yeah, in the book as well. It has some very cruel scenes. And I'm gonna take you to the place where those happened. Because... Um, that's... This is the main house of the, of the book. The house where I'm going... This is the house of the commander, and the commander is a really, really bad girl, honestly. She's, she has the, she leads this place, this military acad uh, uh, acad uh, academy, 
<laughs> she leads this military academy and we can see her on the map if we're in Minecraft. And she has slaves and one of the slaves is Laia and she's from the resistance. But well obviously we, she can't know that because then she'll kill her. Because she's a slave and she isn't supposed to spy on people. And one of like it's such a cruel scene where she just tortures her and it's so well written, like you're shocked at first, but after you you feel like it was it's such a it's so well well written that you can't you can't really not like it. Although it's really cruel. Yeah, okay. It's, that's a bit weird, don't you think? Well I, I think that as well. I'm a bit crazy. I like that scene. <laughs> so another huge part of the book is this bell tower, which has a bell, obviously. And this bell makes sound and then everyone in this academy knows where to go and what to do. And they're really important because the other character, the one that has training here, Elias, really knows everything about this bell tower. And just the bell tower itself gives so much information to everyone in this book. And it's so well done. Like, it's just drums instead of just like a bell instead of everything else and it's so well written and over here we have a school we have classrooms here yeah yeah oh yeah it's classrooms um i don't actually know what that is <laughs> yeah some great school boards i think we all know this guy don't we yeah okay we all know this it's yeah so I have a few minutes left to talk to you and to my viewers of course because this is the official comeback so I'm just gonna show you around a bit more uh, every house has an interior I'm very proud of that this is a training room very boring but if you go over here there's actually rooms with beds and I think it's beautifully made well I flew wasn't supposed to be. So every every interior is made and we put a lot of time into this Minecraft map and well it's all for a good book so I'm just gonna show you a few from above. Hello friends, why are they always talking? So here you have the wall, you can see the wall all around, there's a bit of ocean there. Um, the theater where a lot of scenes happen from the trials uh, if you want to know what it is you can read it yourself because I'm not going to tell you and there's the armory, stables, a lot of the barracks are there school rooms, more school rooms the house of the commander the mess hall or the eating place and some more training things all surrounded by a beautiful desert and well in conclusion, I love this book, and so should you. So why don't you read it? Yeah, you should read it actually. Why? Yeah, why haven't you read it already? Are you stupid? Oh my god! So thank you all for watching. Before I end this video and my presentation, I want to give a huge shout out to these guys for helping me. You can see them there. The, the top one is me and the other guys for uh, helping me build and another one to Mitchell for helping me and uh, Lodewijk, Liam, Bart oh, did, did I miss any? no I didn't miss anyone actually but a huge shout out for them to helping me build this ginormous project in less than a week it's amazing how far we've come uh, thank you all for watching and thank you all for helping and I hope you like this video and I'll see you.